A national survey on school bus drivers shows more than half of U.S. schools are suffering a shortage. There are at least 100 job openings for drivers right now in northwest Florida. This week's Crisis in the Classroom, Tanner Stewart examines the key factors in the shortage across all three school districts here. There's no shortage of opportunities for school bus drivers in northwest Florida. The problem, recruiting and pay. All three districts admit pay for drivers is low and it's a problem. Now for those willing to put in the time, the workload is high. I'm a senior route manager and I'm even on a bus and help covering routes. We've received countless calls into the newsroom from parents, sharing their frustrations with drivers showing up late, dropping off students at the wrong locations, and in some cases, parents tell us they've had mornings where their child's bus never shows up. But Escambia County school officials I spoke with want parents to know your children are not forgotten. How do you explain that to parents that your child's bus might not show up at the same time every day. In the bus driving world, five minutes can make a difference on if a bus is on time or not. Um, those things play into, to, into factor, you know. Um, sometimes behavior plays into a factor. There's no short answer for why your child's bus may not show up at the same time each morning. Drivers I spoke to say it's been a concern since before the pandemic. Hello. This is the school district transportation department calling to advise you that we anticipate your child's school bus may be late today and every day this week. But they want parents to know they're giving their all. Sarah Young is one of those drivers with the Escambia County School District. What is the biggest issue that you face as a driver? It's just trying to get there. You want to get to every stop you can, every route you can cover. You want to get the kids to school. That's the goal. Cordarius Jones has been with the district for four years. He tells me oftentimes the extra workload can mean going from one end of the county to the other, but the goal stays the same. You know, it's, it's times to where I'm dropping off at Warrington Middle and I hear something on the radio where students have to go to Beulah Middle. So, I mean, that's a drive in itself, but I'm going to do it. How can you ensure parents that you're doing the best job you can? Rest assured, I try to tell parents I'm coming, whether it's 930, 10 o'clock, a bus is going to show up. If your driver don't show up, I may show up. One of my coworkers may show up, but somebody's going to show up for that child. These are findings from a national survey conducted last August by multiple bus driver unions. It addresses the national driver shortage. Out of 1,500 bus drivers that were surveyed, at least 78% say the situation's only getting worse. And half of the respondents say the reason is low pay. It's not just our industry, it's every industry is having this, this issue right now. In Santa Rosa County, the school district is one of only two in the state that have a contracted transportation service. Travis Fulton oversees the department, where it's not uncommon for your child's bus and or driver to change overnight. With over 20 openings for drivers right now, Fulton says solving the driver shortage won't be an easy fix and asking parents to be patient. We are doing our, our very best to make sure that we're getting back to normal. We are that we're running on schedule, we're, we're looking at routes, trying to make them more efficient and doing different things to really relieve those burdens or those worries from the, the parents' minds. Every county in the state, every county and every school district in the nation is having these, these challenges of finding drivers. Now, what about the pandemic's role in the driver shortage? Transportation leaders in the Okaloosa County School District say coronavirus isn't the only reason for the shortage, but it has played a big factor leading the school district to propose nearly $300,000 through the American Rescue Plan to go toward increased bus driver pay and specifically address the need for more drivers. It's, it's really taken a turn, hard turn after the pandemic. We're competing with some and, and we're behind some and we're ahead of some. Mm -hmm. um, I think our district as a whole, though, you know, would like to see that number go up shortly from the superintendent on down. Um, and that's our goal in the next few years to to steadily increase that, that starting wage. School officials across the three districts tell me it's critical to address bus driver pay in order to solve this crisis. But deciding what that pay should be remains a key issue across America. For Crisis in the Classroom, I'm Tanner Stewart.